Okay, so after connecting your iPod, what you gotta do is come here and click on Shift plus Restore. As you can see, I'm pressing Shift. Plus restore. Well, once you click that, browse to the location where you have downloaded the file in the link in the description. The file will be this. As you can see, why door 7.1 iPod test 2G MB IPSW. So it should take a while to you know install the whole thing. As you can see, extracting software. So this will take approximately about like 10-15 minutes so I'll not cut off the video so you people think it's fake or something. So meanwhile I'll just breeze through the things that I'll be giving you in this first beta. Well, so in beta 1 you'll be having these things. Better. Better multitasking. Improve RAM using virtual memory, and after the after virtual RAM, you have better dialer. Look, wow, looks super cool. <laughs> okay, so after that, you have improved Safari Unibar and the uh, yeah, the main things iOS 8 keyboard. And the last thing, swipe for swipe for your keyboard. As you know, the swipe, you know, just breeze through the whole thing. Well, these are a few things, and there are many other things they'll be adding soon. So in beta two, I'll be releasing the yeah, and you even have control center control center translucent with translucency effects so in beta 2 yet to come so I will be having notification notification center and whoa notification center and I'll be adding yeah iBook support and yeah these will be the major improvements in beta 2 that's yet to come making the notification center sort of tough some you know working on it so meanwhile what all we have in beta 1 as I just told you if you like it please install it well, as you can see, the installation is almost done. Mm, yeah. So, after the installation, I'll reboot on itself. And after that, I'll show you how to configure and what to configure. <coughs> I'm sorry for that. Well, after the installation of this, we'll have to configure your iPod first before we can you know get to getting the iOS 8 look first you'll get the iOS 7 look on this thing after I'll make it iOS 8 okay any other is not perfect so it's very fine iPod restore okay so once it's verified then we can get started so you might have already downloaded these files as you can see yeah these final beta one so these are the files that you'll get once you download the link in the description the first one and the second one 
the first uh, first we gotta get working with the first one yeah the first one has these files well, I'll show you what you gotta do with them first in order to proceed we have to wait for iPod to complete yeah as you can see iPod has been restored to factory settings and it's restarting yes it is restarting well a beautiful device isn't it okay so it asks you to connect to iTunes and iTunes should detect it in a while it doesn't you know detect instantly I don't know for some reason or the other we'll have to wait around like two to three minutes as you can see the iPod will pop up soon come on baby don't be me so it's taking a little while so doesn't matter we can wait okay take your time no problem we can wait yes there you go it's connected now come on iTunes detect your iPod yes it is detecting iPod well I forgot to mention one thing you even need one more file that's free of course but I'll first set up as a new iPod yeah there we go get started it'll just sync once that doesn't matter if you let it sync or not yeah what you got to do is go to okay open iphone box iphone box I pro i'll provide i provided the link in the description open iphone box you should have something like this go to iphone box classic go to raw file system as see if the yeah this close itunes and in the raw file system what you gotta do is just you know the where the downloaded files open the folder where your where your downloaded files are root of your iPod cop me bring these aside what you basically gotta do is wait all these files you see all these files all these files you gotta drag them onto this place well why do you open sorry not needed well just you know that well you have to drag them all here so let's just do that select all and drag them here copy so you'll see the progress bar down here so it's done you have completed 50 percent of the process so after this, go to your iPod. Yeah, there you go. Well, this is the first time we're starting it, so we have these issues. So there's nothing much they gotta do. Just switch it off. and then restart it doesn't matter if you leave it connected but it's just nothing to do with anything here oh nice reflections <laughs> we'll make it fast well my film's gonna get cut in 15 more seconds so I hope this is done before that fast well this takes a while to put up yeah as you can see we have the stock iOS and wallpaper that comes with white door 7.1 so let me go ahead and show you what how to get your iOS 8 view okay my buttons are a little cranky come on stop sinking to my PC okay so unlock it 
and you'll have all these files so hold on for a second yeah now it should be working pretty smooth let me just go ahead and reduce the brightness and see properly so brightness reduce it to I think this should do okay so what you gotta do is first of all this wallpaper sucks yeah then you'll have the official iOS 8 wallpaper and down here click on set set both okay so this small message should pop up well that doesn't even have anything to do but you know you want iOS 8 feel and all so yeah so what you got to do is go to wider this things click enable folders apps which are disabled city if you need it and uh, and yeah unlock advanced config <coughs> accept so this should take a little while yeah so now open settings wider settings yeah now enable these things as I tell you Safari Unibar if you need assistive touch I don't like it a lot lock screen bounce icon fade icons unlock animation leave those enable CD auto install well after this is done apply changes This should take a little while. It's just respring once. Yeah, so it's like to unlock. Continue. And the next thing is go to activator. As you can see, it'll be on your home screen. Click on anywhere. Short hole and then remove this. Go back. Double press and add this. Okay. then go to settings as you can see the settings icon is already changed pro switcher well, just go down and increase this to about half and one last thing you gotta configure my stupid touch screen is cracked <laughs> so calibration issues ok go to overrides and just delete all of these overrides yeah and after that go to global make sure it's set on forced press home and it'll respring once yeah so well almost everything except the iOS 8 keyboard is finished installing so for that well you already have the swipe keyboard if you don't like the iOS 8 keyboard well yeah now you should have multitasking working perfectly well multitasking eats up a lot of RAM so don't complain if you know it, you know, it doesn't multitask once or twice because it has got to deal with RAM and memory I've made a few tweaks so it allows as much as possible all the user applications should support this native multitasking well some applications such as the system applications which do not require multitasking have not enabled multitasking the YouTube app works better well everything is working perfectly so let's get started and you know get working with the keyboard so to get working with the keyboard go to terminal well, my screen is cracked as I told you so in order to access the symbols so what you got to type is S U it'll ask you for password the password is A L P I N E <coughs> sorry let me just type that again A L P I N E yeah as you can see oh sorry you guys yeah, as you can see after typing the password alpine you get this so what you got to type is dpkg 
जी हाइफन आई आफ्टर दैट टाइप वन डॉट डी ई बी सो यू गैट टू टाइप दिस एंड प्रेस रिटर्न एंड दिस अ रियली रियली इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेप कमिंग ऑन या एल से रिबोट डिवाइस सो वॉट यूल डो इज होल्ड डाउन द बटन डोंट री स्प्रिंग योर डिवाइस रिपीट अगेन डोंट री स्प्रिंग द डिवाइस Just shut it down and restart it. That's the only way your keyboard's gonna work, or it won't work. Seriously, it won't work. As you can see, it's switching off. Well, it's taking a while to switch off. Come on, yeah, done. Now let's just switch it on again. Make it fast. Go. Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> Load. Well, I like this iPod a lot. It's I know it's second generation and all, but it's one of my favorite mediums to listen to music still. Well, while this booting up, we anyhow got to connect it to the PC. So go ahead and plug in your card. There you go. Yes. So, come on, load, load. So, yeah. So it's loaded up completely. Go ahead and go back. as you see keyboard you know the second folder well you have applications just copy this or you can just drag it on to this place as you know you know yeah go to raw file system of your ipod as you can see <coughs> drag this folder in here well i guess i just do it again drop it yeah So once that's done, you're basically done with installing the keyboard too. So just go ahead and restart your re. <coughs> <coughs> really sorry, guys, but you know, I can't help it. So just go ahead and respring or restart your device. <coughs> well, yeah, it's doing it on itself. Or maybe it's just going to save. Me. Who knows? Yeah, this happens. You know, once or twice. So just restart your uh, restart your Springboard. Well, you can just restart it straight. Doesn't matter what you do. It's just the same thing. So it's loading up, loading up. Yeah, as you can see, it's like to unlock. <coughs> so let's open. <coughs> God damn this. Okay. So let me just go ahead and show. Yeah, as you can see, there's the keyboard. And even swipe works. I'm not sure because of my calibration, it has <coughs> small issues, but rest of the things just work perfectly. <coughs> the multitasking works quite great. Thanks for watching, guys. This is the iOS 8 for your iPod Touch 2G. If you like it, please like, comment, and subscribe.